Welcome back here, tuned into Chartbusters. Well, last promise, let's get straight to the management of Kesaram Industries. Mr. P. Radhakrishnan, who's the whole time director and CEO of the company, joins us on the show. Hi, Mr. Radhakrishnan. Uh, good morning. And, you know, the numbers that you have delivered as an improvement. So that's pretty good news from your shareholders' perspective. But we wanted a few more numbers in terms of the guidance that you've given and whether or not you're going to stick by that. One, what was the volumes in the past quarter? And do you stick to that 8 million tons or, uh, you know, uh, that you had guided for earlier? And also, what was the cement EBITDA per ton in the first quarter? Earlier, you had said that on an average for the year, it will be 650 to 700 crores. Hold by those numbers. Yeah, sure. So, good morning, Nigel. Uh, we have uh, clocked about 605 rupees EBITDA per ton. We have done a volume of 1.9 million tons in Q1. Of course, uh, corresponding previous Q1, there is a 14% growth. But that was a tepid, uh, very unusual given last. We can't, low base, base effect is there. But to answer your question, yes, we are on course for 8 million to be achieved during this year. And yeah. uh, we will do about anywhere between 650 rupees EBITDA per ton is what I would look at as a guidance. All right, 650. So you basically, you know, Move towards the lower end of your earlier guided band of 650 to 700. This quarter, you've done close to around 605. Um, just wanted to understand uh, a couple of things, you know, with regards to the cement prices itself. I mean, have we seen the prices pull back uh, since monsoons have picked up? How much lower do you think that will go? And by virtue of that, is there a downside risk to the EBITDA guidance that you're giving? So, Q2 in general is uh, lower. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, uh, we expect uh, the prices have softened, if you ask, between June exit uh, and where we are now. The prices are in some of the key markets have softened by easily 10 to 15 rupees per bag. But the demand we expect to be robust. The, some of the markets where we operate, the monsoons are delayed, but now it has set in. Therefore, there is price reduction. Uh, I see the there are no problems in the fuel. Fuel prices is likely to come off. Pet poop is coming off. Coal is coming off. Mm. Therefore, we should be able to make up for a weak Q2 uh, in Q3 and Q4, which is traditionally a better quarter. And Q2 is a weak quarter for the industry as well. All right. So, price is a little bit softish, but that's a seasonal factor. And input cost cooling off on the margin, that will be positive. So, we're looking at a better showing in the second half of the year on the operational front. But you know, Absolutely. Mr. Radhakrishnan, the street has never had a problem, not, not such a big problem with regard to your operational performance. They want to know about the debt. Now, the last recorded number was, I think, 16, 1700 crores odd. When you joined us last, you told us that it'll come down to around, 60, to around 1300 crores odd by the end of yeah. this year. So, is that on target to reduce the debt, uh, you know, by a few hundred crores? And also, more importantly, the refinancing. You were borrowing at high teens. You said it'll come down to mid teens somewhere by July. We're in July. Yeah. Has, has it happened? And I remember you are saying you are going to pull me against it. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I, 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 you know, Mr. Radhakrishnan, <laughs> we never forget the guidance that our management has given because we are here for your shareholders and obviously you will want to justify as well, uh, you know, your actions. So your shareholders, our viewers are waiting to hear from you. Tell us on the debt and on the refinancing aspect as well. So debt, if you remember our conversation last time, I said um, debt, it will take uh, 1,200 and on by FI25 is what I was looking at because FI24 we will do the refinancing and uh, uh, we will focus on uh, penetrating the markets, there will be spends. There is substantial reduction, meaningful reduction will happen only on FI25. That we should, if you want me to put a number, uh, yes. that number of 1300 is what we should reach by FI25. Um, right. And the refinancing. Hmm. And the refinancing, coming to the refinancing side, uh, yes, uh, there are substantial, uh, substantial, there is substantial progress on the refinancing. Uh, but we are trying to get uh, a bit more finer because still we are not satisfied with the mid teens. Can't we go further? So what do does better? it stand at right now? What does it stand at right now? What does your cost of finance stand at right now? Nineteen percent. 19%. That's still high teens. You said by July it'll be mid-teens. Where, uh, you know, but in, in July. July right now, you said you are reaching finer details. Can you give us a sense of where that has reached? 
So the best things uh, happen if you wait a bit. That's the way to look at it. We so have, how long uh, do we have to wait then? Not too long. So we will uh, refinance during the coming quarter, hopefully. During the coming uh, quarter. Yeah. All right. Is there a chance of the promoters putting in some money? I mean, you're looking at refinancing, but I'm just thinking aloud. They have around 43% stake in the company. Is there a chance of equity coming in? So I wouldn't comment on whether the promoters putting money or not putting money. Uh, okay. But there is a chance of equity coming I, I, in. As a, as a professional who's uh, planning this company, hmm. uh, any equity infusion at this juncture... Hmm. Will okay. definitely take us to closer to 10, 12 percent of interest straight away. That's the way to look at it, right? Okay. So, but will it happen? Uh, are you privy to any kind of that uh, news that the promoter entity no, comes in and puts? To, it? I'm not privy to any kind of that news as of now. Okay. That's all that's. right. And the rumor about Ultratech taking over Kesaram, <laughs> we keep hearing about it. Uh, no, no, have you okay. heard about? No, I should say that we have launched some more brands too. The Kesaram Super Plus, which is a specialized product. So if okay. we are in that mode, we will not be launching products. Right? All right. So, okay, so yeah. that answers it. <laughs> all right. Thank you, Mr. Radhakrishnan, for joining in and giving us all those details. Though we'd have loved to speak a little more with you on the industry and also your Rayon business, which continues to make losses. But for now, we'll leave it at that and definitely hope for mid teen sort of financing, refinancing coming by in this quarter itself, uh, keeping options open for any sort of equity infusion as well, if that were to happen. You're not privy to it, but let's see how that pans out. With that, we're out of time on this edition of Chartbusters. You stay tuned to CNBC TV 18.